Um, our project is now called Civic Sense, uh, which is a new name we're using, and we have a website you can check out if you're interested to learn more about this project. Um, but it's the same idea as before, just a new name. So what is Civic Sense? Uh, we'll talk about that later, but first let's talk about today's webinar. So today's webinar, we're inviting each group to present on what they're doing. OCF will ask questions to each group, and all participants also have the option to ask questions to the groups, and then we'll have a discussion with each group about their project. And the goal moving forward is that we'll figure out which group we want to uh, we, we're able to collaborate with. Uh, so the goals for today are to understand each group's proposed projects, understand the feasibility of each project, and help us at OCF learn more about the groups that are, we're interested in collaborating with, and then help us decide with whom we can collaborate. So let's talk a little bit about this project, Civic Sense. We're aiming to send Taiwanese air and water boxes to communities outside of Taiwan. We have currently secured approximately $7,000 in funding that we will use to buy and supply these uh, devices. As well as supplying devices, we will also provide training, guidance, and support to our collaborators to train them in how to use these devices, how to install them, how to maintain them, and how to collect data. The goal for this is to prov we will also give them connections to Taiwanese tech communities and commercial groups here uh, to try to see if they can get extra funding or answer any questions they may have. And OCF will maintain regular contact with these groups through online meetings and emails to learn more about what they're doing and provide them any help they may need. So the goals for this project is Firstly, to build cooperation between OCF and foreign NGOs and communities outside of Taiwan, which is something we've been trying to do for a while. But more specifically, we're trying to help promote open source Internet of Things technology in Taiwan and abroad. So we think these sensors can do a lot of good, but not enough people know about them at the moment. So we're hoping to show that potential to other groups who might be interested. Similarly, we're trying to show that to Taiwanese businesses that this type of collaboration is feasible and that there's markets and potential uh, opportunities for them abroad and through that try to help make sure that more groups outside of Taiwan have access to good environmental sensing technology. Having said that, I want to make clear some limits of this project and there are certain things that we're not able to do. So OCF is not able to directly provide funding to the groups. So we can't directly give you that 7,000 US dollars. We have to give it in the form of census. We can also not provide equipment exclusively for the purpose of tinkering. So if you would like the sensors just to use to test on and to do research, we're not able to do that. Because of the pandemic, we're not able to help, we're not able to go to another country and install the sensors, and thus we are also not able to help in the maintenance of the sensors. But of course, we will give remote assistance and guidance on how to do this. Now, there are also certain things that we're not sure about at the moment that we would like to make clear. For example, we're trying to secure more funding, so the total budget is not clear. So the total amount of project uh, items we can send and the total amount of um, sensors we'll be able to install is still not exactly clear, but we have a base of about 7,000. If you collaborate with us, we'll be trying, we'll be seeing if we can uh, submit to grants together to see if we can secure more funding. Because the funding isn't clear, the total amount of partners is still not clear. The more groups we participate with, the less sensors we can send to each group. Uh, so there's benefits and uh, risks to contributing with fewer or more groups. So we're still figuring that out. We're, of course, still figuring out who we can work with. And that's ultimately the aim of what we're doing today. So this is the schedule for the project moving forward. So this project extends from 2021 up to 2022. So we're currently in October, and OCF's main goal is to decide who to collaborate with and then begin meeting with them to discuss the specifics. From October to December, we plan to engage in training and consulting with that group to help uh, help them figure out how to install these sensors and figure out more specific issues and figure out the feasibility. We will then hope that from January to June of 2022, that group can start installing the sensors, monitoring the sensors, and collecting some data. And in July of, of next year, we will co-write a final report together. Now, throughout this, there will be many other steps. For example, we will write reports for other groups who are interested, but these are kind of the main deadlines and bullet points for this project. 
So finally, how are we actually going to pick collaborators or what are we looking for? So OCF is looking for clarity of goal and the clarity of impact for local communities. We're also trying to figure out the feasibility of installation, which means better understanding the infrastructure uh, available in the, in the locations that the local communities are thinking of installing and understanding the capacity of the local teams. We're also interested in understanding what the different groups need from OCF and the feasibility of that specific collaboration. Now, if we don't, if we're not able to collaborate with you, if you would not like to collaborate with us, there are still many ways to stay in touch and keep being a part of this civic science project. So we are going to offer, we're going to start producing monthly updates on our project and send them out to anyone who's interested. We'll be running multiple webinars to uh, keep people informed and let people know more about what we're doing. And of course, there'll be a final presentation in July of next year, which will be a big reflection on what we've learned so far. If you have any questions about the project or want to just get in touch and talk about it, feel free to email me at sam at ocf.taiwan. Thanks for listening. That's about everything I have to say. If you have any questions for me, feel free to answer it in the chat, or you can direct message me on BBB. And I look forward to hearing from all the groups.